What's up guys, Rain here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to code some Java projects slash bucket plugins with friends on top of uh, Eclipse. And we're going to be using Google Drive for this uh, sharing process um, to be able to code with your friends. <clears throat> so, first off, um, here's my Eclipse, here's all the projects. We're actually going to be transferring over one of the projects to uh, the Google Drive, and then you guys will be seeing that later. So I actually already um, installed Google Drive. So if you wanted to install it, which is what you're going to need to do to do this, you're going to go to uh, this website here, uh, find the download Google Drive button, click it, download it, install it. And once it's installed, you should get a screen, or not a screen like this, but you should get a folder called Google Drive under your favorites. Um, if you have it, then you've done it right. If you don't, then reinstall it. Um, or log in or something depending on what you're doing uh, <clears throat> now you can see the folder that I have created on top of Google Drive which is called coding with friends and we're gonna be using this to uh, uh, code with friends basically so once you have your folder generated um, to make a new folder just go up here and click it and it's gonna ask you what's your name name it and then you're done um, now you can share it um, click that and click that or whatever I don't know just uh is that a share button yeah you can click that and uh share with someone so we're just gonna save it share with uh someone and we're gonna and there it's shared with them now they can see what's inside of it you can place them as owner or can view and uh yeah so now did I share this one with someone? Yeah, okay. So I shared with him. Now he's able to see it. And now that we have our folder, we can actually do stuff to it. So first of all, um, what you want to do is you got to download. If you're coding plugins, you want to download the um, the bucket to build against um, inside of here, as you can see here. And you also want to place your plugins that you're working with other people or... Um, <clears throat> Or just create a project in there. So um, to do that, you want to go to Eclipse and then switch workspace. And you can see that I already have it selected, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of the tutorial. I'm going to click Other, click Browse, and then uh, we're going to go to Valboy or uh, whatever your computer's name is. And then go to Favorites. and Not Favorites, my bad. Find Google Drive. And then... I messed up there. <laughs> Find Google Drive, and once you get a Google Drive, your folder should be in there, and click that folder. So I have coding with friends. Um, okay, and now it's gonna switch to that. <clears throat> and it's gonna open up on three screens for some stupid reason. And now you can see we have Alex Horseman in here. Now, when you open it up originally and you install things, you may not see it here. So I'm gonna show you an example of uh, how to get it to show up so we're gonna add something to this um, to transfer over uh, let's find my plugin dev folder which is inside of these many folders somewhere on uh, try to find it uh, it's somewhere in this mess okay there it is um, so now you can see my projects basically in my my workspace called plugin dev element and uh, we are going to be using, let's transfer over one of the tutorials that I was currently making that I didn't post yet. Uh, let's just paste it into there. And this is mean it's getting updated basically, it's uploading things. And so if you save your document while editing it, um, that's going to appear. And once it's done, if the other person uh, refreshes their project, or refreshes the project in here on their Eclipse um, like this it will show the new changes so that's how you really code with other people so um, as you can see it's done now to make it show up we're gonna go to import and then general and then existing projects into workspace and then we're just gonna browse to that directory that we're already in coding with friends and as you can see there's another one and it's going to import it for us and now we have kit tutorial um, 
and this is one thing to notice uh, originally when you upload it it doesn't happen all the time but most of the time you're gonna see these random desktop INIs or whatever just delete them you don't need them um, things like this these two packages it's just something that gets uh, put there when you originally drive them out of the the thing so just delete them when you see those and yeah and make sure if you're importing plugins you want to go to uh, properties and all those things that you built against you want to import into the server and then use it from the server because whoever is going to be coding with you is also going to be using that so as you see we're in the Google Drive folder coding with friends and we have bucket APIs in here so we're going to open that API and build against it so now um, we are going to be using the, the buckets API I don't know what all these yellow things are for oh it's for this let's press ignore that that warning such a stupid warning and save all it's not going to be broken no more so uh this is it for the tutorial guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh hope you guys enjoy uh coding with your friends peace